Dean, the side won a game. Um, how does it feel? It's been a while. Feels good. <laughs> good. Yeah, it's been uh, been too long. And, um, obviously delighted um, with the win, but you know, really pleased with the performance as well against a uh, decent Coventry side. So um, it was another step forward in the right direction. Since Russell's taken over as manager, I don't think I've had the opportunity to sp- to speak to you about that. Of the changes, and there's always a few changes when a manager takes over. Have they been have they been small and difficult to notice, or is 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 there a c- complete change in the way that you're doing things day in day out? Uh, it's been yeah, it's been a fairly big change. Um, you know, the schedule changes, like days off a change, um, time we train, how we train, what we train on. Um, so it's, it's been it's been a fairly big shift. To be fair, I think he's come in and he's got his own ideas of what he wants to do, and um, and so it's it's been it's been a fairly big change. And uh, I think you've seen like a gradual improvement in the games. I think obviously the Port Vale game only had a, maybe a day or two I think, before before the game with him, but especially the Rotherham game, you've seen like a new way of how we want to play. And, and obviously that's that takes time, but it's um, it's what we're working every day. I just wonder as. as Somebody like you, because there's not many players like you in the game at a football club that are almost an institution within a, a, a football club. Do you take a moment to kind of offer your support to Russell? Because it, that's going to be important for somebody like you to be supporting the manager. And I know it's a strange situation because obviously you played alongside the bloke. So it's, it, it's a strange scenario in a way, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, he's been my roommate, Russell. And right. That's why I'm playing all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's, I mean, when it when it all happened, I spoke to him on the Monday after after got the job, and obviously yeah, I didn't have the assistant, didn't have Luke in, and and so we just had a chat and just sort of trying to help out where I could in terms of just getting run on board and sort of trying to get behind it. But I think um, he's been sort of so impressive in the way that he's been that he doesn't really need that helping hand. Like you know, he's come in and he's what he's offering the players. The training has been really has been excellent. It's been and the best I've ever had to be fair um, in the two weeks that he's been it's been, it's been fantastic and everyone's sort of buying into it everyone's enjoying it it's you know I've not really had to sort of be doing too much behind the scenes in terms of getting people on board because it's been um, it speaks for itself and you feel that the results will come because you know through all this and there's a there's a positive feeling at the moment because the performances have been better but ultimately the side are still in trouble at the moment you feel it will change I hope so yeah I, I think so I think it will um, I think we were sort of in a bit of a rut in terms of we sort of lost what we were doing and um, and that happens, you know, we had injuries and we sort of lost our way a little bit and I think Russ is coming in giving us sort of a clear direction of how we want to play and the way that he wants to play is, is, is the hardest. It's you know it's there's risks and there's it takes a lot of work to do and so you know it does take a bit of time. Um, but ultimately it's what NK is about is you know, I think the chairman's been very passionate about wanting to play football. I don't think he wants to see sort of Route 1 or mm. Channel Balls. And so this is the way he wants to go. And it, you know, it does take a bit of time. But ultimately, I think it's the right way to go. And I think it will pay off. And is Lee going to work on his, on his footwork? You know, is he going to make sure that he can uh, take players on? Yeah, you see, he didn't see him, which I found, some, <laughs> I found bizarre. So I was screaming at him. But uh, there, there's going to be hiccups in the yeah. you know, There's going to be. And the great thing was that Lee asked for the ball next time. And did it again, and he did it again, and did it again. And eventually, people with that notice that they stopped pressing, especially Jordan, because it takes a lot of energy to keep doing it. And so, you know, you have got to back, back him, even if he makes you know a slight mistake. And um, you know, nine times out of ten, he'll get it right, and we work on that. The it's, one that he doesn't. It's it's something to almost you have to win over the crowd a little bit with, with something like that, because you you know you'll get you know old Frank that sits behind me or whatever his name is. That's, oh, get, hit it, oh, get rid of it, get rid of it. You have to kind of get through that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, if you had you know, a big platy up front, why not hit him? Yeah. But, you know, trying to play a long ball into KT or Joe's, they're gonna, it's just going to come back at you. And so, you know, we're trying a different approach, trying to play for the first and, and use the strengths that we've got in the team and run like midfielders and, and the strikers, you know. So we're, we're trying to build it. As you said, you know, sometimes people do want just that lump forward and we try and as we evolve and get better it won't always go back to the goalkeeper you know you'll centre after them drive in and you know it, it progresses but it's you know, it's been stripped right back to the very basics and so it, it just takes time to sort of add those layers on and just finally you, obviously your role on the pitch will change a little bit now because obviously Russell's changed it mainly to a, 
a back four. So, I mean, this is just for you. It doesn't make any difference. You know how to do it. You just slot back into what you've been doing for years. Yes. Yeah, first game did feel a bit strange going, didn't it? Yeah. Not to, uh, not to be... Um, and my lungs burning when I'm jumping back, so it was quite nice. But it's it's something that obviously I know, and um, it, it suits me. And uh, um, yeah, enjoying it. What about your old mate David Martin making his debut in the Premier League? Yeah, it was great. Um, I found out one of my mates was a journalist at the game, messaged me saying that Dave was starting, so I messaged him at five to three. I know he wouldn't get it, but I thought I'd just have it on his phone for when he gets uh, when he comes in afterwards. And uh, I was listening to Soccer Saturday, and um, I was buzzing from a. I think when they um, when they showed the final whistle, they showed Pellegrini, and then it showed all the West Ham players sprinting. And I was thinking, oh, where'd he go? And then I see Dave on the floor, so I was I messaged him, telling him to pull himself together a little bit, but he's, uh, <laughs> show a bit of composure. Yeah, <laughs> just uh, he's let himself down there. But um, it's great. I mean, I'm so pleased, Dave. You know, whatever knows him, he's he's such a great bloke. He's not such a nice character to have around, and um, and he went there probably thinking that that wasn't a possibility you know he was he was a training goalkeeper and that but to do what he did and he done well again Tuesday night as well um, so the clips of that so yeah I'm so delighted for him